Texas hunting is legendary for its vast landscapes and diverse game, offering some of the most thrilling hunts in the country. From sprawling ranches to dense brush country, the Lone Star State provides the perfect backdrop for an epic adventure. With the majestic landscapes of West Texas and opportunity around every corner, we are diving into the heart of the Covered S Ranch, where free-range white-tailed deer live amongst some of the most beautiful and challenging terrain for spot and stock hunting. I'm joined by my good friend and fellow Team Ruger member, Jen O'Hara, for this epic adventure. This isn't just another deer stand hunt. We're right in the middle of the whitetail rut where the frenzy of the season puts the bucks on the move and the chase is on. We're going full throttle on some heart pounding stalks, high energy chases, and unforgettable memories of field. After making the long trek to Texas, I'm excited to hit the range with Jen, making sure that our rifle is spot on before we head out and hunt. You have a two mile target here if you want to try. I don't think that's far enough. <laughs> but, uh, you know. I've hit it three times. <laughs> but how many tries? Well, there's a road that goes right in front of it. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> I'm excited to be hunting with a new Ruger Gen 2 American rifle. This is a powerhouse that's making huge waves in the hunting world. Known as the benchmark for accuracy and reliability, the new Gen 2 American looks amazing with the fluted barrel and splattered stock. Plus, it has some serious reconfigurations to the platform that make it a slam dunk. Bullseye! Okay, that was cool. I loved it. At the Covered S Ranch, you're not just hunting. You're immersing yourself in the true spirit of Texas. From the moment you arrive, you're met with unmatched hospitality and a rustic charm that'll make you feel right at home so you can kick back and enjoy the cozy accommodations and home-cooked meals that make the Covered S Ranch so special. Whether you're swapping stories by the fire or just soaking in the stunning views, every moment here is a chance to relax and recharge. And let's not forget about what we're here for, whitetail deer. We made it all the way out here to West Texas. I know, I'm excited to come and hunt with you at the Covered S Ranch. It's beautiful here. Yeah, and the last time we hunted together, you were like <laughs> out to here prego. I think seven, eight months pregnant in Hawaii. Yeah. yeah, it's so nice to be in the field and back at it and hunting with one of my favorite people. I know, I'm excited. It is really beautiful and we're already seeing deer, but and it's the rut, it's November. Yeah. I think we've been out for five minutes and, and yeah. already, but there's not a buck in this herd so we're gonna keep looking. Um, but it's hill country and we get to do spot and stock. I this know. is all free range, which is super awesome. And um, you know, we're just gonna look and hunt for an old, nice buck. The wide open skies, rolling Texas hills, and endless horizons all set the stage for an epic hunt where every sunrise brings new opportunities. 
got one that Mark thinks might be um, hit the Big Ten, um, but or it's one of the nine points. So it's it's a really good opportunity. They are all over this morning. For the record, we're management deer hunting. <laughs> <laughs> so this deer is off limits for us. Wow. Okay. Every step of this adventure is a chance to soak in the natural beauty of the Lone Star State. Whether we're following the tracks of a trophy buck, or catching a glimpse of a markhor in the distance, there's always something new and thrilling around the corner. And let's be honest, half the fun is discovering all the amazing wildlife that makes Texas so special. Pursue the Wild is brought to you by Ruger and Marlin Firearms. This segment is brought to you by Night Force Optics. Rugged, reliable, repeatable. And on X Hunt, know where you stand. Yeah, he's just standing there right now. That's a nice buck, and it is a management buck, but yeah. his main beams broke. I think that it'll be better just to keep going and see what else we can find. Yeah. They've been fighting all morning. And honestly, with the opportunities that we've already had this first morning, I think that we can find another nice mature buck. Yeah, I agree. I would I wouldn't mind just waiting, seeing yeah. if we see a bigger one. Yeah, I know where a couple I've seen quite a few other good ones that I think would be ones that you'd like. Okay. So let's do that. Okay, perfect. So we've got a hot doe in the zone and what's happening right now during the rut. And these does are coming into estrus. They're splitting off. And these bucks are segregating them and surrounding them. And there's a hot doe in this drainage right here we're working up on. And she's got bucks all around her. and we're trying to get Jen lined up on him, but he's just not holding still. So every time we get set up, he gets in the mosquito or down on his bottoms and it's just, you know, we're kind of playing cat and mouse with him. He's not spooked, he's just cruising for does. Oh, I see him, I see him. Yeah, I got him. All right, Jen, he's 270 yards, dial 1.2. The best. I love you. Oh, thank you're you. Like, you're like you're stressing like my out, and I'm like, okay. I know. It's okay. <laughs> I can't see him either. Don't stress. Oh. Stay calm. I know. Like, you were my calm. I was trying. Thank you. I've been following him for probably close to two hours now. I had a hard time finding him um, just in this brush. It was, I just, at my angle where I was laying prone, I couldn't really get, get my eye on him. This is the biggest whitetail that I've ever shot. Being part of Jen's biggest whitetail harvest ever is the kind of adventure that we will remember forever. There's nothing like the thrill of sharing the hunt, celebrating the harvest, and making memories that aren't just about the deer. It's about the laughs and the stories that we will be telling for years to come. Had an exciting start this morning. Yogi spotted a big buck moving off through the mesquite first thing. Our wind was really bad. We kind of tried to creep around and see if we could get eyes on him. That didn't work. We're trying to actually get the wind in our favor now. We're kind of moving around this ridge. 
and looking back into the mesquite. The trouble with this stuff we found yesterday with Jen's book is that even if they're literally standing right there, they're very difficult to spot. Watching a big buck right now, but um, the wind's at our back. He's been 675 yards. But deer are really chasing this week and they're moving and it's really exciting because, you know, Mark is seeing deer on this ranch that he's not seen all year and that's what I love about this time of year. These bucks are walking. Ah, 350 yards from that buck prone. Perfect position, I was dialed, ready to kill, but uh, He's a 10. <laughs> so it's like false alarm. Good practice run. <laughs> uh, that's okay. It was a good time. He's a big buck, beautiful buck. Um, like I said earlier, you know, th this ranch really wants these big tens breeding these does right now. So we're here doing some management. So part of the process is finding a cooperative free range, big nine, big eight. just shy of 700 yards right now. So we got to move way up and try to get in a shootable range of him. Um, we're going to use these brush piles behind us to kind of disguise our movement. So got to close some distance here pretty quick. whitetail just aren't very big and um I mean I've got my data and everything and I, I've trued my my trajectory but it's just a long shot on a deer and I think that we can do better by the deer we're not it's not last night or the last day I've got time um I'd rather just put a really good solid shot instead of making a shot and uh making a mistake so I'm just gonna pick up and we're gonna try to get closer down on them and, and try to get you know, even another 100 yards on him would make a big difference for me. Um, prone, everything's super steady. It's just, I feel like it's the right thing to do just to try to, just to try to close the distance a little bit. So that's what we're gonna do. That's my call and I'm gonna stick to it. <laughs> just um just not giving me the shot i need and we're out of daylight so we're gonna back out of here and uh just hunt again tomorrow uh try to get a better situation better setup closer distance if he had come out right on the edge of this brush pile here i'd have had him at 350 yards but he he didn't so that's case her off <laughs> saw that nice eight last night uh, trying to get him you know glassed back up and see if I can get an opportunity on him today's a really nice buck so far we've got a few does spotted and we're just gonna spend some time here and glass out in these openings and see if we can't find him or another nice buck We're 
looking at another just gorgeous giant West Texas whitetail, and um, he's under 500 yards, just feeding, totally perfect. Uh, it's beautiful to see, but uh, this girl, ain't nothing that deer today. <laughs> Pursue the Wild is brought to you by Ruger and Marlin Firearms. This segment is brought to you by Safari Club International, first for hunters. Tinks, America's number one buck lure. And Dead Down Wind, real science, real results. We're at the Covered S Ranch and Yogi and I are actually going to debone my entire deer. Um, I've got a nice size ice chest and we're going to try and fit it all in there so I can get it home. So you see this seam here? Yeah. But what I try to do is because we're not worried about the butchery cuts, because right. then you do it a little differently, but you just, just try to... lay it open, like butterfly yeah. it open. Butterfly it open around the bone. Let's stay close to the bone. Okay. Yeah. It's so cold. It's perfect. So what I'm doing here is I'm basically cutting everything apart. Um, I'm not taking the time to clean it because we just aren't where we're at with the facilities to do that. Um, but I'm just cutting it apart, putting it in my ice chest, and then we'll tape up my ice chest. I'm going to fly home with it, and then I'll go through unthought, clean all the meat, and then we'll do the whole canning process at home. So right now I'm just trying to get it home, get it as small as possible, and um, that way I can pack it with me on the airplane. Now come in, yep, perfect. And then lift that whole thing up, there you go. There you go. This is really a lot easier of a process than I thought. Um, I've skinned out tons of deer, but I've always just taken them to the butcher because it was easy, I was busy, and in today's world, it's just something that I really want to have to be able to do myself. And um, from start to finish, be able to take a deer, process it um, from start to finish, and it's just really important for me. Oh, I see him, Yogi. That's a pretty good eight. We're watching a big eight right now, and he is really cruising. I mean, he's gone probably 600 yards just in the last few minutes we've been watching him. Don't know what he's trailing, don't really know where he's going, kind of just trying to figure out a strategy to try to get in front of him and get the wind in our favor. I just don't know if he went in the other draw, if we'll see him on the other side of those cedars. That's my worry. There's no vantage point. There's no elevation. It's just it's a tough spot to hunt him. Yeah. It's so thick, I can't see nothing. No, he wasn't that far. He's just right on this ranch right here. Man, I just uh, I just haven't had any luck getting these deer to like hold still for five minutes, <laughs> five seconds, thirty seconds, except for that giant this morning. Um, yeah, I, they're just chasing so hard. It makes it really difficult. There's been quite a few bucks in this area and we just spotted a bunch of does run into these cedars. So we're gonna try to work along here as quietly and stealthily as we can. We don't wanna actually penetrate the cedars because every time we've tried to go in and we just, we don't make any moves. So we're just looking at these openings like this one right here behind me. We're hoping to catch these deer moving. Shooter. Not 
he's a good management deer, so he's he's just about a little over 100 yards. <laughs> I was getting so discouraged, you guys. <laughs> That's so awesome. Great shot. That's awesome. Oh, man. <laughs> I think everybody is like celebrating right now. Perfect management buck. Right, he is awesome. So we filmed this buck on our first day of Jen's hunt, and he got away from us roughly four miles away. That's how far they're traveling right now. They're just running so hard, it's insane. With a successful hunt and memories made under the Texas sky, we've wrapped up another adventure. Until the next great hunt, here's to the thrill of the chase and the stories we'll share. Thank you for watching this episode of Pursue the Wild. Jump behind the scenes with us for our podcast, Wild and Uncut, or tune into our digital lifestyle show, Our Wild Life. You can stream everything on my website, PursueTheWild.com, and be sure to follow me on social media, at Christy Titus.